Is, is anyone in there? Oh, oh no! Hi and welcome to my another devlog video. It's been a peaceful morning and I've been reading this book that I got yesterday. Also running some thoughts on what exactly we'll be doing this week. We'll be adding functionality to the help bar today as right now it's just a useless thing on the screen. Besides that, we'll be making sure that Bob can buy and pick items from the shop and actually spend his coins also hopefully this week we'll be adding a lot to the game in terms of art I guess but right now after reading this lovely book I have to do some very important work and hopefully after that I'll be working on the game. The health bar is now functional but looks pretty boring so we'll be adding a more juicy one soon. Also, we can now spend our coins, pick items, roam around or escape with them or purchase them and so on. It's looking good to me. Also, Tetinger, a very cool hacker minded guy, suggested some other dialogues that the shopkeeper might say. Also, tomorrow I'll organize the trailer board to map every bug and feature that we'll be adding to the game. But it's getting pretty late and I'll be retiring to bed. I basically sat down and went through the entire project, listed every bug possible and new features that I'll be adding. The trailer board looks good to me so far but perhaps the most difficult part is to maintain and update it. Hopefully I'm looking forward to do it regularly because it really helps when there are things in front of you rather than somewhere in your head. Also today we'll be cleaning up the way camera works designing it such that we can focus any character in the game we want and not just the player itself but I've been sitting for like 2 hours and need some fresh air hopefully after that I'll be working on the camera I re-implemented the way camera was handled and it's much more flexible now as you can see, we can set it so that the camera focuses on other characters in the game as well. The main reason I did this was because we have to slowly mold our game to be able to adapt the cutscene system we are going to implement in the future. And it is going to be fun. It's getting late and tomorrow I have planned on making some magical flowers and glasses to give some glow to our forest. It is Wednesday and I've been doing pixel art mostly, adding these flowers, grasses and variations to them as you can see. I also tried drawing a tree but then failed miserably. We'll be adding more elements to the forest later on but for now this might work just fine. I'll be adding these sprites to the game tonight. Also perhaps I'm going to add a campfire with a forbidden hut too. After I finish up with the javascript project I am working on. I have added flowers to the forest and to be very honest it looks beautiful to me. I'm totally loving it. I also added this campfire and a hut. The campfire isn't very satisfying but we'll be working on it later. Things are looking magical now in the forest and all we need is some ghosts hanging around which we'll be adding tomorrow but it's like 3 am and I should be going to bed now. I spent most of the afternoon trying to make this ghost and then it's animations. I'm very slow and bad at pixel art to be very honest but anyways I got it to work the way I visualized in my mind. For some reason it lacks some spookiness and we'll be figuring it out why later on. Also we'll be adding to it to the game and add behaviors to it but right now 
I have this exam to prepare and hopefully I'll be working on the course after that. So I modified the animation and made it floaty as Icefill suggested. It looks pretty cool now. Icefill is someone who has helped me a lot in pixel art and he's the reason I'm doing it today. Anyways, I added the ghost in the game and later on added the behaviors to it. We'll be adding more behaviors to it in the coming weeks like attacking, teleporting and so on. Is, is anyone in there? Uh, what was that noise? Oh, oh no! It, it's just a chair, I think. It's been a busy Friday and I spent much of the day learning, making important notes and also working in JavaScript projects. Sometimes it's really hard to balance things but nevertheless I worked on the game too and replaced this boring hell bar of ours with this juicy one. Besides that I planned on the inventory system we are going to implement but that's going to be it for today and hopefully we'll be implementing our inventory system tomorrow. It is Saturday night and I was not able to add too much in the game. I did implement and try to make an inventory systems prototype but it's nothing too special to show. I'll basically be editing the video tomorrow and publishing it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm really having fun working on the game. Thanks to some people for supporting me because that really means a lot. If you want to join along too, make sure to join the Discord server, links down in description. But that's really going to be it for this week and I will hopefully see you in the next one.